Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How about a little plant haul? So we just got back from Plant Shop Chicago where we got a few pretty cool finds. Want to see them? All right, let's just jump on into it. So the first one we got is this gorgeous, huge, this is the biggest cactus I now have, um, Euphorbia ery Eritrea, Eritrea, Eritrea. I said it three times the same way every time. Anyway, it came from Florida. Like I said, they picked it up a few months back and I am super excited to get it repotted because they have not repotted it yet. The soil seems pretty dry all the way through. It's springtime here in Chicago. Well, almost springtime. I got some gray terracotta here and I also have some cactus food and I'm gonna feed it. Always feed your plants at springtime when you repot so they get all those nice nutrients that they need. This is really cool. And I'm wondering if it's gonna start to spiral, maybe not, um, but it has some like bending up here, which I think is kind of cool. This was $21.99. Um, and I don't think that that's a bad price at all for a cactus this size. It takes quite a bit of time for it to get to this size. So everybody knows how I feel about my cacti. Our next plant we got, is drum roll whale fin sans severia what's the proper name for this is it on here no and i don't know it so i'll insert it on the screen here um but more commonly known as the whale fin this fin is jay's he picked it out and it is still closed up and it might open it might not most of the time they do open um, but it should sprout a new leaf from the base. So we're pretty excited about this. It's a nice size too. And it's our first one. So welcome to our Sansevieria collection, Whale Thin. This one was $33.99, which might be the most expensive plant we've purchased. But I think it's a good price. These are really in right now. These are super cool. They last forever. They require a little to no care and they're great for low light situations, which Jay has downstairs. So this was a present to himself. And then we saw this little guy. Isn't he cute? It's a baby whale fin sans severia. This one was 15, but it comes in a terracotta pot already potted up. It actually says on here, if you can see, it was repotted on February 23rd of this year. So we don't even have to repot it. It has some lava, lava stones in there. So it's good to go. It's just going to hang out and just, you know, be a cool little mini curled up whale fin and maybe open and maybe not. I'm aside for right now. We're going to focus on these guys. Let's start with him. Come to me. What's your name again? Eritrea. Eritrea. Someone tell me if I'm saying that wrong. I probably am. <laughs> oh, I need cactus gloves for this. Hold, please. I'm gonna push it down a little bit, not too much. I want this guy to stand up like that. I want to avoid having to put a stick in the soil if I can. So we'll see. I'm making a mess. I should really use tarps. I have some. I don't know why I don't bother to put it down. There we go. You so pretty. There we go. My kids are gonna be excited about this one. I'm getting soil all over myself. <laughs> Fabulous. I think it looks stunning. What do you guys think? I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, now we are going to repot this little feller. I'm gonna scooch him out of the way. Oh, oh there we go. It's hard to work with gloves, you know? You stay right next to me. Partner, look at him, he's almost as tall as me. Not quite. Okay, 
Oh my goodness, Nicole. Sheesh. And then the soil gets into the cracks of your hardwood floor. Like, just put a tarp down, Nicole, you know? Just put a tarp down. Okay. Let's repot this little guy. Oh, he's going to look so cute in there. And we'll clean that up later. Don't be distracted by that over there. All right, so I have this filled up with some water that's been sitting out. And this is uh, liquid cactus food. This is ideal for cacti, aloe, jade, and other succulents. You're supposed to use it every time you water, although rule of thumb out there is that you should probably cut it down to half of what they tell you to do. So half the dosage half the use. Um, this says to only mix in one fourth of a teaspoon per quart. So this is about a quart. I'm going to just literally pour it. Maybe I should open it because <laughs> I haven't used it yet. I just fertilized my fiddle leaf today and I'm excited about that. It's blue. Is that normal? Just give it a little, little shake. What's in here? Let's let's give a little a little plant lesson on fertilizing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nitrogen, phosphate, soluble potash. What's potash? Potash? Potash. I don't know what any of these things are. <laughs> anyway, let's squirt a little bit in there. Perfect. I'm gonna shake it around, shake it around. Oh, spill it on your pants. And let's give it a good water. I always use terracotta for succulents, cactus. It's just easier to keep them alive. You don't have to worry about the roots staying too wet for too long. Because the terracotta, it's so porous that it just draws water away from the roots. And it provides extra oxygen. All right. How pretty. I'm going to pan over and show you where we end up putting this guy. I'm really excited to see and watch him grow. I might have to put a stake in there. I'm hoping I don't have to. Hopefully he really... Um, grips on and stays upright and doesn't need a stick, but we'll see. There's one last thing that I forgot to talk about and it's these guys back here. Can you see them? We also got some Spanish moss. I love Spanish moss. I fell in love with it when I went to North Carolina last year and it just hangs from trees like just grows and just hangs, it's everywhere. And I fell in love with it and I saw some in Louisiana when we were down there last week. And we went to plant shop and they had it just hanging around the store for $4 a bundle and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get some, cause I love it. And I'm gonna hang it in my office. Spanish moss is an air plant. So you treat them the same way you treat air plants. You can either submerge it into water for a few minutes and then, you know, take it out and let it hang dry. Um, I'd say maybe once a week, or you can mist them every time you walk past them, which I'll probably end up doing. But this one looks like it's in good shape. It's got a nice light color and it almost has like a blue tint to it. So, <laughs> this is my Spanish moss. I'll pan off right now and show you where I end up hanging these so you can see, but anywho. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you like videos like these, be sure to give them a thumbs up. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to subscribe if you like this video so you can see more videos that I post throughout the springtime. Thanks guys. See you in my next one. Bye.